Shalom. I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakudash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiyam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, Shalom to the elect. <coughs> Ecclesiastes chapter 9, it says, Be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom, and teach her not an evil lesson against thyself. All right, so when you are jealous over your woman, you know, over the woman that you have, or woman you dwell with, live with, whatever, you're teaching her how to hurt you, all right? You, you, you actually, that's a demon on you. you know, it's okay to be jealous. But you don't want to be jealous to the point where you know you you're teaching your woman to, to to how to hurt yourself. Give not thy soul unto a woman to set her foot upon thy substance. All right, and don't let a woman, you know, don't let don't don't you know over don't let a woman um, control you. Don't let a woman overtake you to the point where your substance that's that's your that that means your uh, you know your. <clears throat> like your money, your belongings, you know, you want to be doing all that to the point where a woman, what the heck's going on with this? These are your tangible goods, all right? You don't want to be giving up to the to your to no woman. Me not with a harlot. Lest thou fall into her snares. Our harlot is a whore, a snare is a trap. So whores are traps. So don't don't you know don't get in don't get involved with no whores. Because it's a trap. And it, it, a lot of times it won't end, end well for brothers. Use not much the company of a woman that is a singer, lest thou be taken with her attempts. Alright, going back to like the what do you call it, those uh um oh man why is it slipped my slipping my head the uh oh the sirens of greece remember that the greek mythology the the sirens they were the ones who would sing to the sailors and then the sailors would get um enticed by the by the singing of the siren and then they were never to be heard of again it's kind of what this is talking about you don't want to be getting you know involved with Someone who's going to be able to, you know, do you wrong in the long run. You know, these women, they can put a little trance on some of these men. Don't get caught up in that, brothers. Gaze not on a maid that thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. All right. Give not thy soul unto harlots that thou lose not thine inheritance. All right. You don't want to lose, you don't want to lose your inheritance over some whores, you know, over some harlots. Really, the best thing to do is not deal with a woman in this truth. But if you must, you know, Lord's will, you you find a decent woman, you know. And the others, they they were speaking on it um, at camp. Don't even share the truth with the with a woman because you'll end up. It won't end up good for you. The majority of the times, it's not going to end up good if you share this truth. You share too much of this truth with the woman, it's going to work against you. Look not round about thee in the streets of the city, neither wander thou in the solitary place thereof. <clears throat> Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman, and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman, for herewith love is kindled as a fire. Because right, men, we fall in love with a woman for, for her looks and for her, the, if she's beautiful, you know. Women, they'll, they'll fall in love with power. They fall in love with, you know, that's why you see uh, beautiful women with ugly men, because it's, it's different. You see, you see uh, you know, unattractive men with, uh, you know, I'm sorry, unattractive women with attractive men. But the thing is, is is uh, the beautiful woman, man, that's a that's another snare, you know. And if you're not in your right mindset, you might be overtaken by that woman. 
verse 9. Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in, in thine arms, and spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thine heart incline unto her, and so through thy desire thou fall into destruction. All right? So that's adultery. You don't want to be sitting with another man's wife. You stay away from another man's wife. If a woman says she has a husband, then you just need to, you need to run as quickly as possible. Just like Joseph and Pot Potiphar's wife. Right? Get away from that situation. Forsake not an old friend, for the new is not comparable to him. A new friend is as new wine. When it is old, thou shalt drink it with pleasure. All right? So, hey, that, that goes without saying. You, you know, your old friends are going to be your tightest friends. You know, you have the most memories, the most stories with, with them old friends as opposed to a new friend. And the new wine, you know, that, that, two, that goes twofold. Wine is better aged. But also the doctrine. The more the more we ha endure, the more we, uh, the more we're diligent. This this is we're going to be able to drink this with pleasure when you get this full understanding of this this doctrine. Because also you got to remember, wine is a metaphor for doctrines. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. All right, you see a sinner, don't even trip. It may it may be a facade. It looks good on the outside, but on the inside, it, it, you don't you know it's, it could be uh, no good. You don't you you don't know what the end is of a sinner. Well, we do. But I'm just saying that's why you don't want to envy the, these sinners. Delight not in the thing that ungodly pl have pleasure in, but remember they shall not go unpunished unto their grave. Keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill. So shalt thou not. Doubt the fear of death, and if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in up the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. There you go, man. Keep yourself out of danger, man. You don't want to be around no killers, you know, lest they kill you, man. These people are crazy out here. In the times we're coming into, this is going to be, a, you know, an important verse because there's going to be a lot of killers out here. There's going to be lots of desperation out here in Jacob's trouble, a.k.a. martial law. <clears throat> and through the spirit, I was delivering uh, uh, some DoorDash today and I came across this place. It was unmarked. It didn't have no name. All it had was an address and there was all kind of security measures around the building. And the dude was that was waiting for the, his food, he was just waiting in a truck, and he pulled up next to me, and I had his food, I gave him his food, and I was like, hey, what is this place? And he was like, oh, I'm, I, I can't tell you, I'm not, I'm not allowed to tell you what this place is. And through the spirit, I told him, I go, oh, this, I go, this is a FEMA camp, this is going to be a FEMA camp, and he just started laughing, and I drove off, but, hey, there's all that, like, a lot of this, America is getting ready for this martial law, Jacob's trouble. And the government is getting ready to throw a lot of people in these FEMA camps through the spirit. I'm pretty sure, you know, what I came across today was a, a FEMA camp. And there was another, there were more buildings just a little ways away that looked like, you know, perfect for, you know, throwing people in a FEMA camp. That's what it, it reminded me of. And we're getting it close, man. As near as thou canst go, guess at thy neighbor and consult with the wise. Let thy talk be with the wise and all thy communication in the law of the Most High. See, that's why we, we talk amongst the brothers, you know. We don't really, we don't really uh, spend too much time talking to these heathen or these two-thirds because it's just going to be vexing. At least with the brothers, our communication is dealing with the law of the Most High, you know. You know, that's the way that's where you want to be and let just men eat and drink with thee and let they that glorifying be in the fear of Yahweh. that's the again that's the brotherhood that's what we have we eat and drink man just um, Sunday I went to the brother's house uh, because we we have a call every Sunday and the brothers were you know getting ready to eat some dinner and whatnot hooked me up with a steak 
So, you know, these are the things that, that we should be doing. The brotherhood is, is the most important thing, you know, because that's the true family, just like Yahweh Shai said. Verse 17, For the hand of the artificer, the work shall be commended, and the wise ruler of the people for his speech. An artificer is somebody who makes idols, all right? A man of an ill tongue is dangerous in his city, and he that is rash in his talk shall be hated. All right? Yeah, you don't want to be out here with a loose tongue just talking shit, pissing people off because that ain't wise to be that way. All right? So this is just a you know chapter on some random, random advice. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, <clears throat> just giving you random advice throughout the scriptures, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close out on that. I'm, Lord's will, I'm going to do some more reading tonight and have a lesson ready for tomorrow. So with that, I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Merkakwadash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, I want to acknowledge the Akion, who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of